of trouble to test the nerves of the people who dare to do much to lose. Nestled among the peaks here is a very special haven, a sanctuary for old locals from the steam age. Train Mountain. Rail enthusiasts flock to this mountain top museum to learn about Oregon's trail. They can also explore its stunning scenery on one-eighth scale trains. Steve Panzik helps run the attraction. Train Mountain is really important because this is a gathering place for the hobby. The trains are just something that brings us together. We're developing a museum side of Train Mountain. We've got items here from cars to passenger cars to snow fighting equipment. Train Mountain boasts over 50 vintage railroad cars and locomotives. But Steve wants to add a new exhibit to the park's collection a huge rotary snowplow. Built in 1925, this Union Pacific plow blasted its way through Oregon's snowy mountain railroad for over 70 years. The plow has a huge steam engine, but it's not used to propel it forwards. All its power is needed to drive a massive three meter wide rotor armed with sharp cutting blades. Spinning at 150 revolutions per minute, the blades can cut through deep snow drifts, clearing the path for locomotives pushing behind. The plow is one of the last of its kind to survive, but today it sits unused on the railroad side in the nearby town of Chiloka. Union Pacific has agreed to donate the plow to train mountains. They want to offset profits as soon as possible. Union Pacific put it in the custody of Train Mountain for the purpose of preserving it, so we've kind of got an obligation to do that. Failure is not an option. Unfortunately for Steve, there's no direct rail route up Train Mountain from Chiloka. So he has no choice but to move it two and a half miles by road. Crossing busy railroad tracks and a wide river. Calling the 100-ton plow to the top of Train Mountain will be the toughest part of the journey. Steve calls in leading Oregon heavy hauler Chris Arsenal to do this mountain move, which will cost 30,000 pounds. This is actually a challenge. It's one of those moves that you're not going to get complacent on it, and there's less room for error. Let's just tip the whole jack over to my left. Okay, ready? To get the plow ready for the journey, Chris's first task is to replace the train wheels with the road wheels. To do this, he must clear all the machinery hanging underneath the plow and position four hydraulic jacks to lift it clear the tracks. He'll pull the plow's wheels out and insert a steel rig to support it. Then he'll attach four dollies a long, steep drive up Train Mountain. Well, these jacks weigh about 400 pounds a piece. Coming up. Mounted easy. Uh, we need more six by eight. They build wooden towers to support these heavy duty jacks. There's another one here. That's perfect. Watch your hands. Okay, set it down. Oh! Okay, you're good, right there. That's good, right there. 
Once the jacks are in place, they connect hydraulic hoses to big pumping machines. Oh, you did. Okay, fire up the machines and get, uh, get some pressure on them and, and get ready to go up. Okay, coming up. Andy, how's that? Looking good over here, bud. If the jacks don't lift in perfect unison, the plow could become dangerously unbalanced. How far did we come up? It looks like about a half inch, about a half inch, okay. The front begins to lift off the wheels, but the rear isn't budging. Okay, it looks like there might be a pin in there. Or there's a pin in the center of that. The rear wheel mounts are still attached to the plow by a big metal pin. It comes up clear back in that terrible mess back there, and it won't come out of the hole. Chris clambers under the precariously balanced plow to try to slide the pin out by hand. If any of the jacks fail, he'll be the meat in a sandwich. That's a heavy pin. And see that pin moving? I'm looking, I'm coming. It's going up. You guys can't get a hold of it? Can you guys get it? It's not up yet, you gotta go more. Uh, you got it? Oh, I see it. Yeah, there it is. Grab it. Well, grab that damn thing. We've got it. Chris finally manages to free the rear wheels and scrambles to safety. Boy, that was nasty. That was gnarly. They can now lift the plow off the rails and prepare it for the trek up Train Mountain. Blasting through the snow, blazing Oregon trails. Now I'm sitting rusting on old steel rails. If I were a bird, I saw to the top. Flying up train miles in my final spot. Journey's long, climbing high over train mountain. Windows green. day of the big move up Train Mountain. Chris's first challenge is to guide the snowplow out of the train yard and across the busy railroad tracks. This is one of the main freight lines to Oregon, so Chris can't afford to hold that traffic. Today's move day and we're getting ready to fire up and get out of here. We have about a 10 minute window with the Union Pacific. They're going to shut this rail line down so we can get across. If we don't get across this railroad line, uh, Union Pacific is going to fire the rail back up, and we'll be sitting here all day waiting for a slot to get across. The railroad wants five minutes to call dispatch and shut the track down, and then we're ready. There's already a delay. Chris needs two escort trains to keep traffic at bay in front and behind the convoy, but one hasn't turned up. One of those things you can't control. We've hired them and contracted them to be here, and and one of them, I guess, slept in, so. Troy, we're gonna have to get a light on your rig, okay. and you're gonna have to take the rear up because the other flagger didn't show up. We're about three minutes away from pulling out of here. We're gonna get across this railroad. Okay. Yeah, we gotta tighten that one up. 
Okay. Ready? Yep, we're ready to go. Let's just get across this railroad. Your fronts are over the track. Your rears are over the track. We are clear of the railroad. They make it just within that time. Well, we're over the railroad track. Bridge is the next thing. They're telling us that this bridge has decking problems, so we definitely need to be concerned about it. The route's next obstacle is a river. The only way across, over an old bridge. The combined weight of the tow truck and plow is over 200 tons. With such a heavy loading, there's a real risk of collapse. Chris was shuffling the vehicles across separately to spread the load. First, he'll send the tow trucks over. Then he'll run a steel cable across the bridge to winch the heavy power pumps. He must be quick to keep the time the trucks spend resting on the bridge to an absolute minimum. James, we're gonna have to disconnect. There you go! Chris sets up the winch truck on the far side of the bridge and connects the cable to the plow. His main concern is that the old winch may not have enough power to pull the plow across quickly. If it stalls, the bridge can fail. Carl, can you run it in just a hair? Right there, whoa! Okay, we're ready. starting the long, slow haul towards Train Mountain. He's worried this huge snow plow could snag on I overhead can't. cables, so he dares move too fast. This is cable TV. It's not even ours. I just measured it. It's about 17.9. Okay. All right, we're going to rough this. This is cable, and they're not here, so just take it slow, and I'll watch it. Go ahead. Okay. We buy, Bob? Yeah. We're by, Carl. They successfully dodged the cables. Now they face the steep ascent up Train Mountain. <laughs> to hold the heavy plow up this incline, Chris needs more power. Need to bring him a second tow truck. His big fear is that if the convoy loses momentum on the hill, it might never get started. We have a pretty good incline. We're coming up the hill here. It's about a quarter mile. If we get this 120 tons stalled out, we won't get it going again. We'll be sitting up the hill all day winching it up. Halfway in, center up. We're gonna go ahead and hook up Wayne. Very critical that we come up this hill, same RPM, same gear. Once we start on this hill, we don't want to stop. Okay, are we ready?
Vintage engine is about to enter the park, where it will take up prime position. We did real well on that hill. We had uh, the pusher in the two trucks and came up there no problem. Uh, we got to build this up. Steer it over here to the left here a little bit. We're near the edge of the bank right now. Okay, come on back slow, Andy. They have to swing the front dolly round and reinforce the bank to try to get the massive load back on track. Grab that short piece of plywood, it's a five or six footer. Okay. The plan works. They disconnect the digger and pull the plow into its final resting place. We're looking real good, Carl. But just as they're approaching the tracks, disaster. We're stuck. We're going to winch it in. This is a little job, but uh, we got it, so it feels good. Being able to save anything like this is a great accomplishment. I feel absolutely wonderful about it. I just got to go find something else to try to save. 